Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Tardis and today here's something a little bit different. We've got a bit of an update if you have been a long time viewer of the Mr. Tardis channel, specifically my live streams. Now about a year ago I was approached by Louis Morehouse who is a young Doctor Who fan who is blind who does work for the blindness charity, the children's blindness charity, Living Paintings. He was raising money in order to put together a range of touch to see books for children in order to make sure that blind or partially sighted children are are able to experience the wonders of Doctor Who, just like everybody in the world should be able to do. And I got this wonderful surprise in the post today, a parcel from Living Paintings. Enclosed inside was a letter as well, hand signed by Louis. Uh, I'm not going to show you the full letter because it does have my address on it and I do not want to dox myself, but it says, Dear William, thank you so much for supporting me with my campaign to make the iconic images from Doctor Who accessible to blind people. Living Paintings have worked really hard at arranging the appropriate permissions from the BBC and I'm over the moon to enclose the tactile images from the first of the upcoming Doctor Who Touch to See books. I'm sure you'll recognise them immediately. I cannot believe the detail they've managed to include. Altogether, the charity will produce three Touch to See books, each with five images and including audio descriptions. They are confident that at least one Doctor will help by recording the soundtracks. Thank you again from me and everyone at Living Paintings as well as the countless other blind and partially sighted people who will experience this wonderful resource. As always, I can't wait to see what happens next. And at the bottom as well, uh, P.S. This is Matilda. She appeared with me in the Lifetime Appeal in Aid of Living Paintings. It reminds me of how life-changing it was when my mum discovered Living Paintings. They brought magic I never thought was possible to my growing up years, and now Matilda, who is only five, has the excitement of benefiting from everything they have to offer, though I never was one for ballet myself. You can always find out more at www.livingpaintings.org. I'll put a link to Living Paintings' website in the description below, but in a layman's terms, touch to see but Books are hard plastic sculpted images, like raised tactile images that blind or partially sighted people will be able to run their fingers over and be able to use the bumps or the indents and the curves of those images in order to have like a mind's eye view of what that thing should look like. Louis was raising money with the Living Paintings to put together a range of Touch to See books. They blasted the target out of the stratosphere. They did incredible work on their crowdfunder. And it seems that I've got some here to take a look at. Like I said, I need to be careful how I show the box because it's got my address on it. But let's open this thing up. As you can see, I have not opened this up yet. It's in this wonderful orange uh, paper film. There's the Living Painting sticker there, like acting as a seal. Like I said, I have not opened this up yet. So let's take a look inside. So rip open the orange paper and we've got how many? Blimey, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five of these things, wow. Okay, so let's put these down. Let's get the paper and the box out of the way. So these are numbered. You can see this one here is number one on the top right. Uh, I imagine this is almost like a page number as well. So yeah, you can feel that this is the number one. And the main attraction, of course, is the TARDIS, the blue box outside there. You'll be able to feel the lamp on the top, the handle, uh, the windows as well. Uh, there's a moon or a planet here on the right. Some galaxies or nebulas here as well. Great attention to detail. A couple of stars in the background as well, or possibly uh, some planets there. It is uh, endless there in that universe. So number two, we have the first doctor here. We've got him with uh, his uh, his cravat, his his neckerchief, his bow tie, uh, his hair as well. And look, they've even got like his buttons. So yeah, you'll be able to feel your way down and feel the buttons on his shirt. But on the left here, we've got a Dalek, this iconic design with all of those Dalek bumps or etheric beam locators, the plunger, the gun, eye stalk, headlamps here, uh, the uh, the slats on the side. This is so cool. Like if you put it on its side, you can see how raised the image is. Like the the plastic itself is quite lightweight, but it's it still feels quite sturdy. Obviously, you know, be careful with this. Don't go bending and creasing and breaking it. But you know, it still feels like you'd be able to twist it, and it wouldn't properly buckle. Next up for page three here, uh, we've got the second Doctor holding. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what that is. That looks like something that shouldn't be on screen for TV, that you, he's going to flog the Cyberman with that. Well, this is gay. <laughs> I think it's meant to be the second Doctor's recorder, but it's got a tassel at the bottom. I don't... Did the, did the recorder have a tassel on it? That could just be my faulty memory there. Maybe I'm just... Uh, maybe my mind should just get out of the gutter. The cosmic hobo with his bowl cut there, bow tie, buttons, and his checked trousers. That's a satisfying sound, isn't it? 
Love it, and the Cyberman here as well. This looks like the moon based tomb of the Cybermen design. Feeling the handlebars here, the headlamp, work your way down, uh, the uh, the, pl the plastic uh, play golf balls that I even remember I had those as a kid, making their way up as uh, the, the plastic tubing, uh, the claw arms the boots, the chest unit, and some wires here. This is terrific, this is great. And even like the wires here are textured as well. You can like, you'll be able to hear it I think as I run my finger across. Page four, we've got the third doctor here with his dynamic capes here, this action pose, hands in the pockets. You'll be able to see and feel the cape as well. This is a really dynamic, quintessential third doctor pose. And here we have Grumpy Potato Man Sontaran. Uh, he is helmetless. You can uh, feel the details of his eye, his nose, his frowny mouth here, uh, making his way to his, the neck for his battle armor. The creases of the suit as well. This is definitely Time Warrior inspired uh, links from the Time Warrior. And these clunky Sontaran boots here as well. And finally, the last one that we've got for now, or at least the last one that was sent to me, page five here, and we've got the fourth Doctor and Davros. We've got the uh, the Dalek roundels here, the etheric beam locators in Davros's chair. We've got the switches there as well, and his one hand on a switch there at the top. We've got his shoulder pads here. Uh, we've got his eye at the top of his face as well, the creased forehead. And on the left side of the image as well, the fourth doctor with his crazy curly hair here, holding his hat, holding his fedora. Is that technically the type of hat it is? Comment section, you let me know. But unmistakably here as well, the long scarf going all the way up his left shoulder, round his back, and then over his right shoulder, all the way to his feet as well. That incredibly long, ridiculously knitted scarf. So yeah, that's five pages of Living Paintings Touch to See Doctor Who books range, with presumably more to come from other Doctors. I do love how this range has gone straight for the classic series, going straight from the first Doctor and the Daleks to the second Doctor with the Cybermen, and then we've got the fourth Doctor with Davros. So we've got 1963 to 1975 represented there. A great way for blind or partially sighted children to be able to see what the classic series would have looked like for Doctor Who. If and when more of these arrive, I'll do another video. Thank you so much to Louis Morehouse and the folks over at Living Paintings for sending me these. If you wanted to check out the Living Paintings website, maybe even donate as well if you're able to. I'll put a link to the Living Paintings website in the description below. If you want to check out my interview with Louis Morehouse from around a year ago, uh, I will put a link to that live stream as well. It was a great chat chatting with Louis about his experiences getting into Doctor Who and music and his work for charity. And to parrot his own catchphrase, I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much, Louis. Thank you so much, Living Paintings. Thank you folks for watching this video, and I'll see you folks next time.